want to re-encrypt? Do you want to encrypt it back? Let's, let's encrypt them again just okay. to show the symmetry of the... Three, two, one, go. The little numbers up there in the, in the time readout show that it is 6.8 times faster on the G4. But don't get me wrong, um, we find that if, if you put standard cryptography packages on G4, they tend to run three to eight times faster than on Pentium 3, the same kind of demonstration we could have given. In closing, I would like to say that as far as students and teachers, scientists and engineers, and everyone having the supercomputer power, desktop power, I've been waiting a lifetime for this, and, or maybe two lifetimes. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Richard. That was great. So, <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Crandall. Um, the last demo Phil and I are going to end on is pretty amazing. Uh, it's also a scientific demo but it certainly shows off the computational capability of the G4. What we're going to show you is actual data from the Mars Pathfinder mission. And it's from a company by RSI, and um, they have software, IDL software, that's used to process images from data by some of the world's greatest organizations, NASA, JPL, Livermore Labs, Brookhaven, use this software package we're about to see. And this is not an animation. This is not a video game. This is all being computed in real time, visualized in real time from the same exact data set, running on Power Mac G4 and running on, again, a 600 megahertz Pentium 3. And we're going to actually see uh, what this is really like. So why don't you go ahead and launch, Phil? And uh, that is actually Mars. Uh, from the data from the Pathfinder spacecraft. And we're going to be approaching Mars uh, on the Pentium here. And uh, you can see Mars getting bigger. You can even see it rotating slightly as it gets closer. And then we're going to launch a probe down. Then we're going to actually go on that probe and watch it as we go through the actual canyons of Mars uh, based on data from the Pathfinder spacecraft. spacecraft. Yep. What you'll see in just a moment, as it fills the screen, you'll see this probe take off. And just at the point it disappears on your screen, it'll be right above the canyon that it's going through. And this entire data set from the Pathfinder to render all of this is sitting on the hard drive of both computers and is being used on the fly to render and map and visualize the Mars, pa Mars Pathfinder path. So we're and about the probe there launches, the probe. and you see it right above the canyon there where it goes into. And now the data, it's rendering on the fly, real time, 3D graphics of a canyon that's actually as long as the distance from San Francisco to New York. Okay, well let's go ahead and launch it on the Power Mac, G4. <clears throat> and uh, we'll start to approach Mars on the G4. We'll get ready to launch our probe. There we go. And the exact same data set being calculated in real time for visualization purposes right here on the G4 versus the fastest Pentium money can buy. Well, you get the idea. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. <laughs> now, uh, one of the things I said earlier was we, one of our design goals for the Power Mac G4 was to make it the ultimate Photoshop machine. And uh, who better to speak on this point than one of the finest people in our in industry and uh, actually one of my longtime friends, Dr. John Warnock, the chairman and CEO of Adobe. Uh, I saw this thing last week, and you have to love these machines. They are phenomenal machines. Uh, we've actually been testing these and writing the plugins for Photoshop to take advantage of the G4 and of all the machines that we have seen. 
This is the fastest machine that runs our applications. Uh, now, the great advantage of being a friend of Steve's is I got in line early. <laughs> so I have one of these on order, and uh, the wonderful thing about having Apple back is that this industry is no longer boring. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> and now, as you know, when we're excited about things, we make TV ads. <laughs> I'd like to uh, premiere a television ad that we're going to run for the Power Mac G4 that actually starts running uh, tonight. So if you watch television tonight, you might just see it. So let's go ahead and run that ad. For the first time in history, a personal computer has been classified as a weapon by the U.S. government. With the power to perform over one billion calculations per second, the Pentagon wants to ensure that the new Power Macintosh G4 does not fall into the wrong hands. As for Pentium PCs, well, they're harmless. We got the idea for this commercial when we were informed by the United States government that we are not authorized to export the new Power Mac G4 to many sensitive countries around the world because it is classified as supercomputer level performance. <laughs> 